So it's March 29th, 2024. This is Darcy's Corner. Or Darcy's Reflections or Darcy's Bitch Session. Who knows? Last night was good for me. This week has been a good week for me. I think. It's hard to say. I've been trying to been wanting to date this one girl for like a couple of years now and she's friends with me and she likes to hang out with me and do stuff with me but I tell her she's a diva because she is which is entirely fair she has like a actual health condition that like sucks the life out of her from time to time and so then she's not available for things and can't do stuff or whatever so it's really difficult to um, plan things with her and to do things with her for that reason. But I do do things with her and I do plan things with her. And I'll take her to her doctor's appointments and I'll go get her stuff that she needs if you ask me. I'd do it if she didn't ask me if I knew she needed it. And we're sharing a lot like vulnerable stuff um but i like that we're building a bond that we care like i care about her and she cares about me but she's stubborn and sometimes she's stupid and i say that with love but I'm stubborn and stupid too, so like, you know. We were discussing that too. I'm like, well, you know, I'm a little rough and you're a little rough. And we're just going to polish each other until we're smooth. So, I hope. <laughs> I hope that we keep um, what we got going. Because I want to go to the next level. But patience and understanding and trust, those are things you have to build over time. But if she'll let me, I'll have her back. I know she has mine. trying to get her to move in with me and she keeps resisting and I'm just going to keep trying because even though she's resisting she's still coming around she's still calling me and at first I thought well maybe she's just like using me because I have a car <laughs> but I don't think that's the case I don't I think she is who she says she is I think she legitimately wants the things she says she wants and is trying to do the things she's trying to do. I think in some areas she's just, like I said, stubborn and stupid. And so I think if I maintain what I have with her and keep gently encouraging her to trust me and to want to be with me I think that she does I think that she will I think that she is maybe scared that I might disappoint her but I won't well I mean in some ways we always disappoint our, our person right you try to be there for everything and you can't sometimes or sometimes you get mad about something you shouldn't get mad about or you overreact to things. As you can see, I'm still very emotional. Um, I was reflecting on a different person who, who I love. And I do. I love them. And how badly they hurt me. Uh, they talked to me in a way that wasn't okay.
And they were like, you be here all the time or you get out. I'm like, well, then I'm leaving now. Because I'm not going to be there all the time just to sit around and feel pathetic. But that really, that crushed me. And if I go back and I dwell on it or I think about it even now, about that person, it still crushes me. And this new person isn't new. I've known them for a couple of years now. I'm just not sure things are things are moving slower than I want, but as long as what I'm building is real, as long as this person and I are building actual bonds that are going to be there in 10 years, in 20 years, then Snow and Steady wins the race. <laughs> and Khaleesi loves her. So that's a pretty big bonus. Khaleesi really hoping I'm going to throw that ball. That ball is very hard and breaks stuff. So I'm not going to throw that one. But anyway. This is Darcy's Corner, Darcy's Reflection. I'm feeling vulnerable these days, but I just don't know how to progress. Anyway, I better stop now. It's getting long. Darcy's Corner. Peace.